So a bit of a funny story. Uh, when I was getting this car ready for its decibel reading video that we did a couple weeks back, I didn't want to start the car, but I wanted to wash it. So we pushed the car out. And then as I was pushing the car back into the garage, I put my palm right here and bust the tail light. But this is not uncommon for these cars. This tail light's kind of set up weird and is constantly being like flexed and pushed around. So this is actually the second center tail light I've done on a car that's less than 10 years old. It's not a big deal. I think the replacement one that we bought was like 40 bucks. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Nevertheless, you have to have this red, it can't be white. So we're gonna be pulling this one out. I believe the process is the same for coupes and convertibles. The one that I did was for a convertible. So as I start to do this, I will know if it's for convertible or not. You guys will know if it's for convertible because I'll put it in the title, coupe convertible, that it's, uh, that it's for both cars. But first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open the trunk. Once we're in the trunk, you're gonna take these guys off right here. They're pretty easy. It's just a push tab. So we're gonna get my trim removal tools and pop each one of these things out and take out this carpeting. So this is what they look like. Basically what you're doing is pulling this out so it relieves tension on the inside. And once you get all these out, we'll be able to take that carpet off. Now that we've disconnected the emergency handle, which is pretty easy, it's just got this little cable in there, pop the plastic off. We pull the carpet out. Now you can actually see the screws for the tail light right here. So we will loosen these and the tail light should be able to come straight out. There's four of them and I believe it's an eight millimeter. All four of these have now been removed and we're ready to take the tail light out. Once you have the tail light to this position, you just want to unplug this. And there's your old tail light. And now we'll go get the new one. The tail light we got is made by Dorman. We'll have the link to this one in the description below. So now what we're going to do is take the new light, plug it in, and we're going to slide it back into where it goes. Once you've reinstalled the four springs and the four nuts and everything's real nice and tight, we can put the carpet back on, put your emergency handle back on, and you're all done. So we're all done here and it really is that easy. It took me about 30 minutes and that was with recording. So you should be able to get this knocked out 15, 20 minutes, have the carpet out, light out, and everything back together. If you have any questions, definitely make sure to leave them in the comment section below. I will try my best to respond and answer everything to the best of my abilities. And until next time, thanks for watching.